U.S. Secretary of Defense, General Lloyd Austin, when you said that you stand with Israel, you showed up. You stand here with us. Mr. Secretary, you have shown us what it means to be an ally, to be a friend, to be a brother. The Secretary and I have just left the world. We said what decisions are made on Israeli security, on our most sensitive interests. I briefed the Secretary on strategic developments in our region and the Chief of Staff, together with the IDF leadership, shared our, our operations. Defense cooperation and U.S. support in the Pentagon, in the White House, in the Congress, ensure freedom of operation and enforce our capabilities. In fact, today we will receive the second aircraft carrying essential munition to the IDF. U.S. deployment of assets on land, in air, and at sea sends a strong message on to both our partners and enemies in the region. On behalf of Israel's defense establishment and of the, on behalf of our citizens, Mr. Secretary, thank you very much. Let me remind you all our audience. Who is the enemy? Our neighbors is Hamas, the ISIS of Gaza, an organization enjoying the Iranian payroll. I cannot let the world forget the brutal attacks Hamas terrorists conduct against Israeli children, Israeli women, Israeli elderly, and entire families. Murder, rape, kidnapping, this is what we face in this war. This is a war on the existence of Israel as a prosperous state, as a democratic state, as the homeland of the Jewish people. This is a war on freedom and on our common values, and we are on the front line. We will keep fighting, and we will win this war.